All right, FightHype.com here with Troy Isley after a, a dominant performance through four rounds to start his career 1-0. and Troy, how'd you feel in there? You had you had the man Terrence Bud Crawford in your corner, but how'd you feel in there tonight? I felt pretty good. You know, it feels good, you know, to finally get back in the ring after a two-year layoff, so definitely feels good. Oh. What led to that two-year layoff, man? I know you just 22, had a stellar amateur career, so was it... I know COVID was about a year, mm -hmm. but, you know, that's another year on top uh, of it, too. Well, 2019, when I was on the team, I was fighting through uh, shoulder issues, but I couldn't stop the because I wanted to qualify for the Olympics. So, But I wound up losing at the trials, and then last year I had... Uh, I got two shoulder surgeries, and, you know, I had to, I had to take a year off because I had to rehab all year, basically, for my shoulders. How how the shoulder feel tonight? How did everything feel tonight? Everything felt good tonight. Everything felt my shoulders and my arms felt good. No 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 injuries at all. How'd you feel landing that right hand? It, especially that last round. I'm surprised yeah. that guy stood up to some of those right hands. It felt felt pretty good. I felt I felt like I got my I didn't get my time until the last round. Right. But uh, I felt like if it was six, I probably could have got him out of there. But uh, the right hand definitely the power definitely felt good. What were some of the things? That, oh sorry, go ahead. Uh, yeah. What were some of the things Terrence told you uh, in between rounds, too? Well, he told me to uh, stop rushing it. I was doing too much. Uh, just slow everything down. You know, I was rushing things, trying to force the action a little too much like an amateur. So, you know, I just got to work on slowing stuff down, letting stuff come to me. And lastly, you know, there's always been great American middleweights. Mm -hmm. Do you want to be, do you aspire to be that, yeah. uh, another one of those great American middleweights? You know? uh, but do you, do you think, see yourself, you think about fighting when you get up there, the Canelos, the Jamal Charlos, mm -hmm. do you sure. think about that? So I feel like definitely Canelo, you know, the Charlos, Andrade, DDGs, all of them. I feel like I can be up there. You know, I just got to develop right, you know, stay focused, and, you know, smartly build myself, and, you know, I'll be there. And lastly, Troy, what do you think will take you there to where you want to go? What are the attributes? Well, I got I got to uh, become a great a great boxer, you know, all around boxer, you know, ring generalship, you know, not just trying to be a power punch, you know, I got to be have an all around game, you know, speed, power, you know, be able to fight on the inside, fight on the outside, just have all around games. A lot of stuff Terrence does, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, thanks so much, Troy. 22 years old, great amateur career, now one and zero in the pros. Congrats to you, Troy. Thank you, thank you, brother.